Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be talking about Google authentication in Nest.js. So you know Nest.js is a framework for building efficient, scalable Node.js server-side application. It uses TypeScript. And here you can see the official documentation website for Nest.js. And if you scroll down, you'll get uh, the all commas for getting started with Nest.js. And while using Nest.js, you can find some similarity with Angular. So let's get started. So now I'm going to create one new fresh uh, Nest project. And I'm assuming that you have already installed Nest.js globally in your system. So now to create one new fresh project, uh, you have to write Nest space new. And then you have to uh, enter the project name. I'm naming the project as Google hyphen Nest and press enter and it will ask for uh, which uh, environment to use you can use uh, yarn or npm so here you can see that it is asking uh, which package manager would you like to use uh, so i'm here choosing npm now uh, it will take some time to install all the nest.js dependencies inside your project so wait for you can it. see that uh, the installation has been completed and now I'm going to enter into my uh, project directory writing cd space google uh, hyphen nest and then uh, what I have to do you have to install some third party libraries to use uh, a google authentication. So here I'm going to use uh, passport middleware to achieve google authentication. So for that uh, write uh, npm space i here i for install then write at uh, nest js slash passport then uh, keep one space then passport then passport dash google dash o auth uh, two zero here two zero means uh, google o auth version 2.0 and finally i need dot env okay now press enter and it will install all these third party libraries inside my project now after the installation simply write code space dot to open vs code to in your project so here inside your project you can see one ssc directory you have to go inside this ssc directory and you will find one app controller.ts file and here you can see that uh, nest.js has already given one endpoint for you that is the root endpoint so that whenever uh, you just hit the root endpoint it will return some hello world text so if you go inside this main.ts file you can see that your server is going to run on localhost port 3000 and uh, then uh, in app service it will simply return hello world now at first i will set up the google strategy so for that you have to create one file here named uh, google dot strategy dot ts and inside this file first you have to import uh, passport strategy sorry and uh, you have to import it from at nest.js slash uh, passport and the module name will be passport uh, strategy and then uh, you have to import strategy and you have to import verify callback and you have to import it from passport google or 2.0 and then uh, you have to import injectable you have to import injectable from uh, at nest.js common now uh, you have to write at injectable because ultimately this google strategy file is going to be your service kind of file write export class google strategy uh, it will extend the passport strategy and you have to pass strategy here and what strategy you are going to use that is google so write it here uh you have to write constructor and uh, inside the constructor 
uh, you have to write super you have to call the super actually and inside it you have to declare all the client id client secret callback url and the scope uh, the scope is what you need after the authentication like email profile picture uh, name family name whatever you can expect from google so write client id and i will just uh, come to this section later in this video and i will need client secret and one callback url i will need scope now i need one validate method uh, that will validate all the access token or refresh token so for that uh, simply write async validate there will be access token and will be refresh token then i will need a uh, one profile uh, i don't know the type of profile so i'm giving it as any i will need done and it will be the type of verify callback this uh, method will return one promise so i will write like this promise and the type will be any okay so now inside it i have to write the uh, cons name then emails then uh, photos uh, equals to profile it will basically destructure the object and then i will write const user equals to uh, email emails of uh, zero maybe and then value then first name i will need will be name dot google gives the name as given name and the last name will be name dot family name and the picture will be sorry picture will be photos of zero dot value and finally one access token and i will write done here passing the null and user okay so i'm done with this google strategy file now you have to go inside this uh, app controller dot ts file and here you can see that uh, nest.js has already declared one endpoint for you so i'm going to just rename this uh, method to google auth what i have to do right now i'm going to use uh, one auth guard service for that write import uh, from i will write the model name later so import from at nest.js slash passport and import auth guard here and to use this auth guard i will need use guard and i have to import use guards uh, from nest.js common and then i will need one uh, rec to uh, accept the incoming request now uh, i'm going to use this uh, auth guard so after this get decorator you have to write at use guards and uh, write auth guard and pass google here and here uh inside it just write at rec and i'm not going to do anything uh with the incoming request whenever uh it will be one simple get request because it will simply redirect to the google authentication page uh, so i don't need to worry about these things i will need that callback to write get and then write auth slash google slash callback again i have to use the auth girl to write use girls and inside it write auth girl and again pass google now simply write google auth redirect and then you have to return one auth service so you have to go inside this uh, app service dot ts file and here uh, you have to delete these things and i will simply write one uh, method google login and i will pass the request here so if there is no user then it will simply return no user from google uh, else uh, if it has any user then it will return the message as user info from google and i will pass the user object from here now you have to inject it inside 
this uh, app controller you can see that it has already been injected inside this app controller file so what i have to do i have to just use it inside this controller file so write return this dot app service dot google login and simply pass the object okay so now i think uh, everything is done uh, except those uh, keys part and here uh, i'm going to copy paste these keys from google developers console so from the google developer console you will get all the credentials so i'm just uh, showing you uh, which credential to copy and what will be the settings of the credential and i'm just creating one new credential for you so click on this uh, create credential you can get one OAuth client ID just click on that so here uh, you will get one option to select authentication type it will be web application just select that and uh, authorized JavaScript origin so it will be nothing but your uh, URL I mean your localhost URL so write HTTP colon double slash local host colon i'm going to run my server as at, at uh, localhost 5000 so write that localhost 5000 and then what will be the authorized redirect url so just copy that and remember what i have given inside my uh, code the callback url so go back to this uh, app controller you can see that the callback url is slash auth slash google slash callback so just give one slash and paste it here okay now uh, just save it or you can click on this create button okay so now you can see that google has given you one client id and one client secret so i'm just copying it and uh, going inside google strategy.ts file and pasting it here uh, i will need callback url so the callback url will be uh, HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 5000 then slash then copy that same uh, endpoint for the callback and then uh, you have to give the scope I will need uh, email and I will need the profile that's it now go inside your browser and click OK now uh, come to your code and go inside main.ts file and just i'm just changing this uh, 3000 port to 5000 because i'm going to run my server on local 5000 port now open your terminal and simply write npm space run space start and it will start your nextjs server and let's see that if my google authentication works or not okay so now you can see that the server has been started now go inside your browser and just write localhost 5000 press enter and it is uh, showing status code 500 internal server error so let me see where i'm facing this error it is showing unknown uh, strategy google so we forgot to declare this google strategy inside our app module so go inside app module.ts file and here you can see the providers uh, has been declared uh, for this app service and here i'm going to declare it for google strategy so write google strategy and you have to import it from here so now save it finally you have to just close your server uh, and again run your server using npm run space start and wait for it to... okay so the server has been started now go back to your browser and here just type localhost colon 5000 and press enter and it will take you to the google authentication page and if i select this uh, my account so you can see that uh, it has given me all the details so here you can see that uh, i have got all the profile details that uh, i need 
so thank you for watching this video i will upload this full source code on my github uh, repository so you can get it from there please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you